John Mayer and Katy Perry. They are right here on the couch this morning. In just a little bit, we're going to launch their new music video, Who You Love. But first, I want to talk to them both. And I guess this is a first for the two of you. Never sat down for a TV interview together? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't quite know exactly what kind of body language we're supposed to be exhibiting. Oh, at the and moment. this couch is so comfortable, too. There's well, you, you get too close, it's a little too touchy feely. And then you get too far away, they say, I don't see chemistry. <laughs> we're trying to figure out. Which they maybe They'll just, see chemistry in the video. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, you guys, we definitely will see the chemistry in the video. And I want to talk about that. Now, how did it happen? Uh, exactly. You had been kicking around a song like this for a while? Yeah, I, I, I had this little chorus for years and it was, you love who you love. And I thought that was always going to be a great thing someday. To have a song that people could hear and, and feel that sort of permission, you know. And, uh, and then like it came back kept around. it in the desk drawer. Yeah, and then it came out again. And sometimes you just have to play stuff for other people and they don't know what's new or old. They don't know, they, they, you know, it's really nice to have an unbiased ear. And, um, and played it for Don Was, the producer of the record, and he went, yeah, that's something. And I went, I don't know. And then he said, why don't you get Katie to do it? And if the very first thought was, you can't do that. We'll just get, I'll just get, you know. I'll, I mean, you know. Uh, and, and, and then the more I thought about just the music part of it, it made perfect sense. Even if I didn't know Katie, it, was, it would have made perfect sense, you know. But because you did know her. It was yeah. an easy phone call. Yeah. yeah, for you too. I went in the other room. I went in the other room, called her phone. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and it, 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 it was it was always for me. It had to be about, and it always really has been about the song. Mm -hmm. If the song is great, um, you're, you're sort of in a bubble of authenticity, I think. And if the performance is great, which she gave an incredible performance, you know, I mean, it's a pretty big moving target to be a couple and have a have a song. But I think there's an authenticity to it when you hear it. That it stops. I mean, good art. It transcends. Yeah, you just stop us. thinking. It's about more them. about you know the message of the song. I think we're gonna see, but you do put yourselves out there. Well, we have to go at some point from the car to the front door. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we do. So that we are out there. Yes, my, the, the personal life of moving from the car to the front door. But uh, this is the first time we've put ourselves out there, and I mean specifically I, for this wonderful music for video. For music, yeah. Well, let's dig a little bit deeper because you got a lot of Twitter questions coming in. Fluffy Unicorn. <laughs> I thought she blocked Fluffy Unicorn. I, I thought I blocked Fluffy Unicorn too. Uh, oh no! What did you do, what did you do on your first date? We just went to dinner like a regular couple. Yep, went to dinner. Wow, and we second, share music as a love together. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like a common interest. Yep. So. And then it's spiritual. What was the funniest moment backstage when shooting the video? Oh, there was no video. The only video we've shot so far is Who You Love. Yeah. Spiritual is a song that... We kind of messed around in the studio with because we were in the studio uh, making our separate records at the same time. Yeah. And then I come in the studio and she plays stuff and I go... Mm -hmm. and, then, <laughs> and then I'll hear a melody because she'll be writing something. I'll hear a melody and I'm like, don't, don't. <laughs> she's, she's, she was, or he'll just pack, pick up a guitar and play something. Yeah. But I go, come here, come here, come here. And I, I sang this into my iPhone while, while you were in there. Just check it out. I'll do that. I'm like, good, good, good. <laughs> so, so you're wrapping up your this leg of the U.S. tour tonight. Tonight, right? yeah. How's it been? First time back after the throat injury. It's been really great. Um, it wasn't like I woke up one day and I had the whole range of my voice back. Um, it has been like getting to. It's like your dad letting you use the car a little mm -hmm. bit at a time, as it goes on. You have to show that you're responsible with it. And so for me, like I'm singing better and better each night. And it's really taught me to appreciate the voice as an instrument, not as something you can just keep doing whatever you want to. You know, and you've been doing something great with this tour as well. I know a lot of the proceeds have been going to veterans yeah. suffering from PT. SD, and you're about to get started as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador? Yeah, I kick off my tour in May. Yep. And then I'll be here in the States in summer. So you guys will have to plan some some, some get-togethers on some the Some routing. Yeah. <laughs> Loved your Instagram coming in yesterday. You were really going to do GMA right. You promised to bring in your fancy pop Christmas popover we recipe. We actually slaved for hours this morning. Well, we've seen it. It's in, right in here. The All the proceeds are right here. I just said, tune in to GMA. <laughs> Katie and I are going to premiere our new video and watch our uh, watch us uh, give away our recipe for uh, the foolproof Christmas The biggest popovers you've popovers. ever seen. <laughs> also, the just the widest you can go with an Instagram joke <laughs> I've ever seen in the world. That is going deep and wide with the joke. Are they good? Um, yeah, they're a little cold. I thought I made them warmer this morning, but <laughs> they look pretty good. It would have been a great segment if we were cooking.